Hi, this is a short video illustrating how to bring toolbars into AutoCAD 2017, which is a topic of interest to lots of different users. So in order to get this to work, you're going to use the command line and type in tool bar, so I usually do tool B, but instead of this first option, you're actually going to want to use this toolbar. It looks like a little ruler underneath it, and if you click on that, <clears throat> you're going to have the opportunity to bring in whichever toolbar you want. So if you remember the name of it, which I'll show you in a second, you can type it in. If you're not sure, you can just pick this all option or hit the down arrow to pick all, either way. And then you get to, to choose, well, what do you want to have happen? Do you want to show or hide them? Well, I want to show them. So if I hit show, it takes a moment or two here, but it'll populate all of the classic toolbars. And I've got the big uh, icons displayed option right now. So if it comes in and it's a little bit funky, just click on your options, find the display tab, and then you can click on this use large button. <clears throat> and then that'll shrink them down to probably what people are more, more used to seeing. So it brings in all the toolbars. So you'll have to go through, and if there's one you don't want, like this UCS adjustment one, you just click on the little X or 3D shapes and they'll go away. So the other thing you can look at too if this is overwhelming is you can look to see well maybe which toolbars do I want to use. So if we right click on this little gray bar here to the very left hand side of this toolbar we get to see all the names of them as well. So <clears throat> the person I was working with was very interested in the object snap toolbar. So if that's the only one that we want to use we can go ahead and type in tool bar again because I'm overwhelmed uh, find all I hit the down arrow this time and then I want to hide everything so a little bit more manageable and now if I come in here again and I hit toolbar and I want to actually choose that one with the little bar underneath it or the ruler and now <clears throat> this is kind of interesting if I hit the quote marks I can now type in the name and add the space so if I type in object snap and now hit enter, and then I get to choose, well, what do you want to do with it? I just want to show it for now. I'll let people figure out where they want to dock it. That would bring in just the object snap toolbar. So again, just a quick tip to bring the toolbars into AutoCAD 2017. And of course, from here, you can create workspaces, save workspaces, etc., which should be a topic for another video. Hope that helps, and have an awesome day.